Hello, Nick, Nick Holt from Holt's Auctioneers. I have something here which is coming up in our December auction. The date of the auction um, is on the 12th, on the 12th or the 13th of December. It's a lot 11.05, a lot 11.05. Now, this particular item, I've been talking with Charlie Montgomery, who's our agent out in South Africa, for, I would say, five years. It's been a long process. It's a bit special. It's all to do with a sniper. Now, when you become a sniper, you are really the number one man. In the First World War, there was um, a gentleman called Abe Bailey, who had his own s sniper regiment, so to speak. There weren't very many of them. I think there was only approximately uh, 25. And um, very, very few survived. Because you can imagine, being a sniper, they wanted to kill you. You were the man, they wanted to kill you. What we have here is um, uh, a gentleman called Lieutenant N.W. Methane, or Methane, um, South African. This is all his kit from the First World War. You, of course, have your good old 303 Lee Enfield um, rifle. And then you have the stand and, of course, the various scopes. You, of course, have the one scope on the end, which was um, when he was being a sniper in the trenches. He needed to look over the trenches to see what was going on without actually one of their snipers getting him. And this is the item I'm referring to. There's a book which has been written called the South Africa at War Union Defence Force in World War I by William Enley. There it is. You're looking at a date of around 1916 when this was being used. Um, you have, we've called it an exceptionally rare 303 bolt action sniper rifle model Bailey's Sharpshooters. We've dated in 1916, but as I say, it was probably being used in 1917. Um, and this is the real machine. This is what the boy was there, keeping away, keeping his head low, and just popping off those head ponchos in the in, in in the German army and obviously very successfully. So we've got, I believe, this package is the last or the only known surviving genuine Bailey's sharpshooters uh, or snipers kit. Um, as I say, it's locked 1105 and it's coming up in December. The estimate is about £5,000 to five to seven thousand. It is incredibly rare. So you, what you've got on the stock is, there you have it there. All right, so that is the Bailey's Sharpshooters logo. Um, you had, Perfection was what was required by the sniper. He had to be a perfectionist. There was no time or room or anything for uh, uh, a well-used barrel, which, which was not being very accurate. So our friend, Lieutenant Betham, MC, Military Cross, had this rifle barrel changed four times. Four times he had the barrel changed. 
dread to think how many um, we, we had died with this rifle. But don't forget, we were at war and he was doing his job. And he was doing his job incredibly well. So, um, as I mentioned, five to seven thousand on it. It's all on our uh, website, lot 1105. Bailey South African Sharpshooters, Brown 1917. My, I don't really want to, th to think about it too much if it could talk because there was a lot involved in this little rifle, and especially our friend, Lieutenant Mathen, spelled M-A-T-H-V-E-N, just so you know. Um, and of course, he won the military cross. Uh, good luck, and I think you'll find it fascinating reading about him. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.